And now, a message from the Headmaster. Oh, <laughs> welcome. Good to see you again. Well, the House of Abraham is in the lead, but we haven't gotten results of the CAT exams yet, so it's solely based on attendance. But you had a great first month. You studied the word nomen. Do you know what nomen means? Anyone? You? What about you? Down here? No. Yes, right. Nomen means name, exactly. Praying in the name of Jesus. Our new theme for October is Living Hallows. But, we, but before we talk about next month, I've heard exciting things about the Fanning the Flame process that Cornerstone is going through. The Fanning the Flame team has made effective structures as the first strategy we're going to attack. But what is an effective structure? So I decided to send out a team on a quest to find out what this thing called effective structures is. Would you like to check on their progress? Headmaster, is this an effective structure? Ah! What's wrong with you? I spent hours on this. Okay. Hello. Welcome to the Tower of Babel. <laughs> oh, I don't want to go to Um, no. I don't know. Um, you, you need to use your voice. Project through your lungs. Bonjour. 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 No. No. I don't. No. I don't speak that language. I speak in American. That's not making any sense. It's I don't understand what you're saying. I don't even speak American. I don't understand. I don't understand. Escucha, escucha, por favor, necesitas escucha para mí. No. Ni hao. Ni hao. Jump out. Bonjour. Bonjour. No. Or, another effective structure is found in the Lord's Prayer. And that is the theme for this new month, Living Hallows, or Hallowed Be the Name of the Lord, which is the first petition in the Lord's Prayer, or the first piece of this effective structure. Now, I talked with Pastor Sanger, and Cornerstone as a whole is going to be looking at effective structures in the church. The Family of Flame team is going to be asking questions like, how can we effectively organize ourselves so we can better provide a place for people to serve in a way that flows out of our mission and vision? Along with that, the team will be examining the gifts of the people at Cornerstone, so keep an eye out for Liz Wilkins. She is our new spiritual gifts coordinator. So the team will be looking at all aspects of effective structures, like how do all ministries, all the ministries that we have, how do they fit together into our mission and vision? Um, who is the clear leader of that ministry? Uh, what, what is their defined role? It's kind of like we're building the structure of a cathedral. If you know anything about cathedrals, each piece of that cathedral fits together and has a purpose. Each piece of, uh, works together and is built on a solid foundation. That's an effective structure. So students, professors, after all of this, my challenge to you this month is that you would take effective structures provided by Jesus in the Lord's Prayer and pray that God's name would be hallowed through the process of creating effective structures. Now, have a great month, have a, a lot of fun, enjoy yourselves, and hallow the Lord's name.